What's going on comrades? Drewski here and today we're going to be playing Gauntlet 2, the arcade game by Atari from 1986 and Gauntlet's one of my favorite arcade cabinets, the original one specifically and I just recently got to play 2 at the Galloping Ghost Arcade in Chicago so today I'm going to put um, I believe $3.50 worth of credits onto the game not in real life but um, that's how much life I'm going to have, 10,500 health, and just going to see how far I can get from there. So let's add some credits until we get to 1,500. I'm going to play as the elf today, and let's do it. Well done, Red Elf. So Gauntlet 2 is an early role-playing style game where you just kill monsters and get health and try to live. You'll notice as time goes by your health decreases naturally. <clears throat> and save the keys to open the doors. It's the usual thing here. And there's a lot of monsters in this game. And you can either like shoot them with your projectile or try to run through them. Well ghosts will hurt you no matter what. So you gotta shoot them and you just destroy the little uh, bone piles and it's like their spawner and they won't come back. If you guys have played this game before, then sorry. <laughs> but just give an explanation to anyone who hasn't tried it out before for themselves. So I'm just going to get out of here, get this key. <clears throat> I'm using my Xbox One controller, by the way, for anyone wondering. And I'm going to warp to World 6 here. So yeah, these demons, each thing has its own health, obviously. And I just want to get straight out of here because these guys are wrecking my ass. So we're going to warp straight to level 6. Because if this was like literally only $3.50 that I had, I've tried to, I would try to get as far as I could. Um, this one has invisible walls. So this is going to be kind of tricky. I'm guessing that just opened something. Or like some of the walls. I still can't see them, so that doesn't help. Um, so yeah, if you guys have a favorite arcade game, let me know. Uh, give me some suggestions, because I'll probably be doing these a lot more often. Uh, going to that Galloping Ghost Arcade really just got me hyped. And like, more, I think more people ought to invest time into the arcade, you know, scene. If you can find a local arcade near you, go check it out. You know, spend a day in there. Because it's a dying cult video game culture, unfortunately. And you know... Places like the Gallop and Ghost Arcade where I played this game, just 585 games, that's just fucking crazy. But I'm kind of stuck right now, I think I gotta... <clears throat> so the X, X, the triple X bottles, whatever you want to call them, those are uh, moonshine. Ah, and the sorcerer beers. I hate this guy. Ah, and these acid puddles just murk you. I'm probably gonna run into like every one of them too, so be prepared. Ooh, there's a dinner. Get out! Oh! Ah, I destroyed some food. Damn it. Come on, just move through these motherfuckers. This is the shit that turned Toxie into Toxie. All right. Level 7, my secret some shit, I didn't even get a chance to read. <sighs> and the one arrow goes straight to the food. But there are other classes in this game as well. Uh, there's like the, the... I'm playing as the elf, there's the warrior. And then... Um, the wizard and the valkyrie. So... All, you know, with their own different specs. Like, the ar this archer here, the elf, is like the archer. He moves fast, and his projectiles are a little more... Just... I don't know. They're a little, It's just a little better. Like, I feel like it can... You can go through, like, corners. You can shoot through corners. Stuff like that. I am just getting wrecked right here. I need to keep moving. Destroy that spawner. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, I always prefer the elf, but it's 
lot easier when you're playing with other people. Just, oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. I can't move. What the fuck? You motherfuckers. Just fight through them. Punch them. Oh my god, it's the sorcerers. They're just ah, unrelenting. Oh, there's Satan. Or death, I guess. Fucking death. But she just, he's a quarter muncher. Ah. Like, that's the guy that, like, alright, you see him get another quarter ready. Because he's gonna fuck you up royally. I'm not getting nowhere. I need to kill the spawner. Oh. I make a bad habit out of destroying the health things, too. It's just because I spam a lot when I play as the elf. What? I didn't even hit it that time. All right, I'm got man. I'm looking back on that. Cause I swear to God, I I didn't even hit it that time. Unless the enemies can destroy it, which that's horse shit. What games can the enemies destroy, like pickups for your character? Hello, fucking pinkies from Doom. Death. What the shit, man? Is he gonna die? My, my score's going up. What? Alright, but I'm wasting time. I, so I guess that's an invulnerable death. Well, I guess that's a way to grind points as well, too. But, okay, so this is the wrong way. These maze, man. Gauntlet, just the maze levels can be so tricky sometimes. Like... Oh my god, the screen will be repeating and you won't even notice for like five minutes. Yeah, there is that little like tube kind of effect going on um, up and down the screen sometimes you'll realize. So, apologize for that. I mean, it's kind of authentic, but in the same way, I think it might just be the game itself. Oh my god. So many demons. I'm just getting hit by that guy. The balls. The guy that throws balls at me. Fucking balls. Just what I want to, like, be worrying about when I'm playing a game. Fucking balls. Alright, come on. Push through. Push through. Punch them. Fuck them. See where this way leads us. Oh, there's the exit. I just opened it. I think I played this level before, and it was at the top. Like, now it's reversed. Like, whereas everything's at the bottom. Like, I remember the exit being at the top of the stage. Alright, so, and then you gotta go this way, and you can get the crap that's on that side. Alright. need to kill that spawner. Alright. Now let's get the hell out. Level 8, fighting hand-to-hand -hand by running into hand- Alright, so yeah. Duh, running into monsters, you fight hand-to-hand. -hand. I have so many keys right now. I'm hoarding. Holding of wealth is job of dirty capitalist. Quote Bernie Sanders on the campaign 2016. Alright, fuck. I should be just using some of these keys. <clears throat> All right. Fuck it. Let's just open this shit. Get some more keys. Get fucking murked by like everything in the game. Oh my god, this isn't good. Just grab keys and get the fuck out. Get the potion. Oh, I shot the potion, man. I shoot everything. All right. Get the fucking treasure and get the key and get the hell out. Treasure room, 20 seconds to collect treasure, must exit Welcome to get the bonus. Alright. Treasure room. Fucking. Sweet. Shoot faster. That's the exit. Oh crap. Oh crap. Good Ten treasures. That's okay. Look, Daddy, I found the treasure. Not treasure, that's soap on a rope, you fucking idiot. Alright, so now repulsiveness gives uh 
gives it to you so the zombie or the zombies or the enemies, whatever, go away from you. Thought Call of Duty there for a second. Um. So yeah, you can use it to your advantage. This stage looks fucking hellacious though. Oh my god, death, 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 die, death. Uh, crap. All right. Kill the spawner, big spawners, and just try to get through here. Oh, I think this is gonna be one of them maze repeating ones. Until I find the right path. Oh, there's the red hell shot of food. How in the hell? Oh. Let's get the hell out. That level wasn't that bad. <laughs> level 10. Got 2856 health. So this is this is cool. You can just teleport through walls with this. Look, you teleport through um the items too, so it can be kind of kind of unfortunate, but it's all good. Makes for an easy stage to level 11 now. Which now I believe, okay, I can't pause, but I think I remember the strategy of this level. You just gotta open up, open everything up because there'll be a key behind it. Just get to the fucking end. There's a potion up there, but I'm just trying not to get caught up by these hordes. Alright, level 12, grinding. This isn't the most complete playthrough, but I'm just trying to see how far I can get. Um, and then maybe I'll try again some other time. Oh, there's a movable block. I think I saw that in the intro credits. But... Oh, fuck! Well, it just did it did have a skull and crossbones on it, so I probably shouldn't have just drank it like that. All right, just get the moonshine. Or shoot the moonshine. Just get out of here. Another treasure room. Cool. You have found my treasure. Oh shit. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Come on. Two, one. Uh. That was fucking close. Alright, fighting hand to hand, alright, so getting the same clues again. Uh, um, moonshine. Your key up there. Fuck that death! Oh my god, Satan's! Ah, oh, get to the potion! <laughs> Kill everything! Fuck them! To quote Rambo th from Rambo 3, fuck them. Alright, so that's how we get out of here. Ooh, reflecting shots. That's cool too, there's way more power-ups in this than the first one. I'm getting fucked, I'm getting fucked! Alright. That key opened a chest just for another key, that was bogus. I forget there is, it's like a turbo button. So I don't have to mash like that. What is that? Oh, Ooh, I'm about to die. This might be the end. Well, this is going to be the end. Aw, oh, shit. Yep, it's over. Oh, unless I can get that. Ooh. Alright, so mini revival. Oh, there's so many exits. Oh, why am I yelling? <laughs> Oh, this is tense. Oh. oh. And there it is, guys. Let's see if I can... This is gonna be fucking hard. So, fuck it. I don't give a shit. So we got to level 14. 78,519 points. That's Gauntlet 2 for you guys. Um, I really love the games. They're quick. You can just pick them up, play them. They get generally harder just as you go along. Gradually harder, I should say. But a great game. Check it out if you can. If you got an arcade nearby, give it a try if you ever get to get a chance to see it.
leave me some comments below, some suggestions, and we'll play another game next time. But until then, peace out, comrades.